Hey everybody, I'd just like to say a quick thank you to everybody who's purchased my assets from the Unreal Marketplace or just drop by my Discord to say hello or ask a question or give some feedback. Thank you so much, it really means a lot. I really appreciate it and it encourages me to make a lot more things. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to my latest asset, which is now being released on the Unreal Marketplace. It's called Real LED Sign Creator, and it can be used to create, of course, LED signs, digital signage, um, you know, visualizations for virtual production or just technical visualizations that require, um, you know, the creation of screens quickly and easily. So without further ado, I'm going to hide this and we can get started. So this is the demo scene that you will receive when you purchase the asset. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of um, how everything's set up and um, how it all works. And then I'm going to give you a quick example of how you can create something very quickly and easily with this asset. So as you can see, we can create all kinds of LED signs um, that are full color RGB. Um, or just black and white images that have been tinted. You can see on this sign, I've got pink on one side and I've tinted it yellow on the other side. Um, you can also create special effects like holograms. In this case, I've kind of squished the pixels um, to give a bit of a moire effect. Um, this is using a flipbook, but this piece down here is using the text only feature of the real LED sign creator. And um, you can use any custom font you want, you like. You can um, you can you know scale and um, adjust the text however you like. The animation, um, it's very customizable. Um, moving along, as you can see here, which I'll now demonstrate. Um, Real LED Sign Creator is a spline-based system. So if I turn off game mode, um, you can see here that. Um, we have some splines, we have a base spline here, and we have a height spline here. So if I adjust the height spline, it's going to adjust the, um, the height of the geometry and the base spline, of course, will adjust the base. Um, the great thing about this system is all the geometry is procedurally created um, and the amount of resolution and the poly count can be adjusted um, very quickly and easily. So if I grab the floor and hide that, hide this little man, hide this in the sky sphere and go into wireframe mode, you can see some of the polygons that, um, that the asset is creating along the spline. Um, this is all procedurally created and it's um, procedurally unwrapped, um, but it can be adjusted very quickly. At the moment, this has 50 iterations with, with a total poly count of 100 polygons, which you can see here. You also have a physical dimensions, which is a readout of the length and the height of the asset, which is very handy for technical visualizations. Um, so if I lower the spline iterations to say three, you can see we only have, we're only using six polygons now. It's been um, instantly regenerated, re-unwrapped and recalculated. Um, the great thing about this system as well is that it can create geometry along the spline um, in a uniform manner. Um, as you can see here, by default, um, uniform topology is ticked on. So if I up the resolution of this to say 10, maybe a bit more, let's say 20, if I untick uniform topology, you'll see in here we have various size polygons. Um, and what that results in, if I jump back to lit mode, is uneven um, UV unwrapping and um, animation speed um, because the polygons are different sizes and the UVs are stretched, uh, so it doesn't look great. So by default, uniform topology um, will be ticked on like this, and that kind of you know ensures uniform speed and uniform texture distribution over, over the polygons. Um, so moving along, we can do things like, let's just turn back on our floor and cylinders and sky sphere. So this is a very simple um, movie player. I've just set up a, a looping video on here. Um, kind of display the kind of things you can create um, as a spline based system as I mentioned um, you know 
you can edit the spline however you like. You can create all kinds of things like um, tracks for wipeout style games or, you know, just um, funky shop front um, ticker tape style um, text scrollers or um, if we come down here, this is um, inspired from Detroit Become Human. This is a digital walkway. Um, there's also something similar in Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to create this um, in just a moment. Um, this one, just um, as a side note, is inspired from Blade Runner 2049. Um, coming over here on this bus stop, we can see that um, this, this instance of the um, real LED sign creator is using the bumper motion. Now I've um, played around with this and sped it up a bit, but we probably don't want it that fast. We probably want it about 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Um, you don't want your advertising to disorientate your potential customers. So um, this has also been tinted, as you can see. Um, if I reset these back to um, just white, um, then you can kind of um, get a truer representation of the original image. Um, I might want to lower the LED pixel density as well. And if I wanted to, I could change the pixels from round to square. Um, or who knows if I if, it, if it's supposed to be like a plasma TV or something like that, uh, that you might see in some of the bigger cities. Um, you can just turn it off and just have, you know, straight um, images scrolling there. You can also adjust the emissive boost might not want it that high. Um, so this is the bumper motion which is selected in here. Uh, you also have panner, stationary, and you can do a lot by combining these. Um, so this is a flipbook combined with panner. I'm going to show you how, how we make that. We have um, several pixel arrays set up here, but if you wanted to create your own, um, like a pentile um, configuration, or if you wanted to create something more industry standard, like a 50 centimeter uh, LED panel that uh, generally contains about 192 LEDs, uh, you can definitely create that and import that in no time. Um, so that might be more handy for virtual production and um, visuals um, um, that need to be um, matching real world um, hardware. So without further ado, one more feature I should show you is the flicker feature, which can be turned on and off. Um, you don't have to have it flickering, but I feel it makes it a bit more organic. Um, so let's recreate this, um, this walkway and I'll show you how quick it is to get up and running. So if I come over here to my blueprints and I drop in the LED sign creator blueprint and add a texture to it from the demo folder, uh, let's see the walk texture, which just looks like that. It's literally a two frame, two column, one row flipbook, and it's black and white, so I can tint it to whatever I like. So let's just drag that on to texture slot A. And the emissive, it's a bit too bright. Um, it's only bright because we're using pure white in the texture and it hasn't been tinted, but let's just lower it a bit so we can create without blinding ourselves, and let's just rotate this down 90 degrees 85 90 and this is a flipbook so let's just tick on texture a use flipbook yes and this has two columns let's just expand that out a bit this has two columns but one row so let's just set that to one now you have your flipbook playing so we don't want a one meter by one meter crossing. That doesn't really make much sense. Let's just stretch out this spline on Y and let's just make it a bit wider on X like that. We don't need any more than um, two spline iterations because we probably don't even need that many um, because it's just a flat, flat plane. Um, the flipbook's a bit disorientating at the moment because it's running too fast, you know, for our, for our uh, walkway. So let's just, lower that down to 0.5, which will look a bit better. That's a bit uh, less disorientating uh, for anybody wanting to cross the street. So 
we obviously want this repeated along the um, along the sign or the display that's on the street. So let's just bump up the texture UV scale um, or lower it should I say so we get a ton more of those walks. I reckon something around 0.2 will probably fit in quite nicely. And because we've stretched the, um, the spline and the mesh so much, we're just gonna need to adjust the LED um, multiplication. Um, so let's just bump up LEDs on Y so we get something squarish like that. That looks quite good. Now, this shouldn't be 100% opaque because it's supposed to be like a hologram. So let's just switch our material from opaque to semi-transparent. And already that looks a lot better. Let's just tint it to get it to something that makes you feel like you want to walk across the road. And we can go back and re-bump up our emissive to get something cool and glowing like that. So you could finish it here. It, it looks quite good now. It kind of um, gives you the indication that you're, you're safe to walk across the road. But we could also add a bit of motion to it so we can add the panner to it. Now, um, because we've stretched in this way, um, we will want to adjust the panner speed. It has a default just so you know how it's working. Um, so let's set X to zero, let's set Y to 0.1. And then we have our panner running our walkway across the road, just like that. Um, if you wanted to add some flicker, you could. Um, probably not suitable for a walkway um, indication, but you know, whatever, whatever you, um, whatever suits your scene. Um, so this is how quick and easy it is to get set up. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the asset. I hope you get some use out of it. I hope it helps you set up your scenes quicker um, and create more eye-catching, eye you know, um, art with Unreal Engine, um, which is an amazing engine to be working with. Um, and so without further ado, I just want to say thank you again so much for everybody who supported me and purchased my assets and um, given me feedback and dropped by just to say hello. Thank you again. I really appreciate it and um, talk soon. Cheers. Bye.